All right, guys. Huh. All right, so we're on the road now, so I'm gonna be talking about, uh, I hope this is a good angle, I don't know. I'm wearing a hat because it's, it's kind of tight, but uh, hopefully that helps. It's still kind of tight, but whatever. But anyway, so we're gonna jump right into today's video. I'm gonna be talking about, uh, I'm gonna be comparing a V6 and a V8 Mustang. So as someone who has had, and I mentioned this before, I had a, an older V6 Mustang and I've had this car, right? And I'm gonna be going over some of the, some of the things, just kind of comparing the two. Um, I also made another video prior to this, uh, manual versus automatic, so, and that doesn't just apply to, uh, to Mustangs, but it can apply to really any car. But, and keep in mind, I'm not the expert. I'm just, like I said, someone who's driven them both. So, <clears throat> and some of the, some of my reasons, you know, they might be pretty obvious and whatever to some of you guys, but some of them might not be. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is Um, reliability they're both very reliable cars uh, you know I've like I said driven them for years no real problems um, both great cars in terms of reliability for the money um, some of the other things the V6 is a lot quieter you know uh, you don't get that throaty V8 sound like you get in the V8. I mean, you can do some exhaust work or whatever, but the fact of the matter is you're still starting with less, so it's gonna, you're going to end up with less. Um, price point, a V6 Mustang is typically going to be a lot cheaper. Like, uh, just for comparison, for this car, um, you know, a V8 will run you probably about $10,000, somewhere around that ballpark when I got it. A V6 Mustang of this model year, um, well, the guy is kind of risky on that bike. A V6 of this model year, you could probably get it for five or 6000 you know. Um, I think maintenance-wise, you're going to be running about the same. Um, This could just be my opinion, but it seems like the V8s last longer. I don't know though. And I've never, I haven't owned a V6 of this model year, but to me, it just seems like they sell more or, well, they don't sell more V6 Mustangs, but they sell more of the V8s because they use the V8s in other cars too. But, um, Reliability. If I had to put my money on one, it's probably the V8. But uh, like I said, so we talked about reliability, sound, um, price point. Like I said, this is kind of for someone who uh, who's thinking about buying it, um, so to say. Uh, also, insurance. Um, this is really the make or break when you're coming, when you're looking at V6 or V8 Mustang, right? My last car, now it was again, two model years older, but it's probably pretty comparable. My insurance, when I went from this car to the last car, it was on my, it was the first car I had on my own policy, but it tripled. So keep that in mind, it's just the stigma. Uh, I think with a V8 rear-wheel drive car, you know, they're kind of dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, especially if this is your first car, like this is the first car, I, like I said, that I insured of my own, then they're gonna, they're gonna gouge you. That's just how it is. And especially if you get any tickets, it's gonna go way up. So, ooh. Performance. It's not even 
close like this car compared to my last car is a lot quicker um, of course you know that car had I think about 200 horsepower this has about 300 it is a heavier car though so you have to take that into consideration so I went over insurance um, now fuel economy the difference on the highway is pretty pretty similar right um, as you can see right now I'm running I average right around well I guess I got to point it down a little bit I'm averaging right around 20 miles to the gallon in this car now my last car um, the V6 probably pulled about 23 miles to the gallon which that's to be expected um, really the pri the where it really varied is in town this car is absolutely awful in the city um, when I lived in the city I averaged usually like 11 or 12 miles to the gallon which is absolutely terrible so also the tank size is is pretty pretty small in this car so get used to putting gas in it all the time because um, if you're only getting 11 12 miles to the gallon and you've only got a 15 or 16 gallon, I think it's 16 gallon tank you know you do the math like that's not even 200 miles of the tank um, so I think that's pretty much um, all the things I want to talk about um, like I said this is kind of more aimed at someone who maybe they're buying their first car or uh, they're just thinking about shopping around for a Mustang you know a lot of people Some people have their opinion also shopping around um, I think their sales were pretty comparable but I think more people in general just kind of try to move the v6 Mustangs around they're a lot easier to find when you go to buy them that's another tip before I end this video um, I'll mention I had a lot harder time buying a v8 mustang than i did a v6 mustang if you go on a v again this goes back to the price point um you can go on craigslist and there's like loads of v6 mustangs it's honestly for for the price it's a great car to buy um and it's like i said very easy to find now a lot of them are beat to hell you know so just keep that in mind but if you like this video I man I'm, I'm having a lot of fun making these videos um, even if it doesn't take me anywhere you know um, it's a nice hobby to have I guess so if you enjoyed this video like the video subscribe also comment I'd like you know if there's people watching these videos that I'm making it would be cool to see what they have to say about them so if you wouldn't mind I mean I would appreciate that too so Anyway, thank you, thank you folks for watching. With that being said, that's all I have for today. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Um, like I said, I mentioned it before. Uh, I'd like to probably polish the car uh, or touch up the paint. So I'm thinking about, about doing that pretty soon. But thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.